I'll tell you, it's no secret we have been locked into this very summer-like pattern over the last uh, week to 10 days. In fact, every day over the last seven has featured high temperatures above the seasonal average. And uh, today, in fact, marks 10 straight days of above average temperatures. We did 84 officially at the airport. That's what we recorded yesterday at the airport as well. And also, just like yesterday, locations off to our west and our southwest, including Columbus, were able to crack the 90 degree mark, but that will be changing as we get into this new week. We had some beneficial rains over uh, the last several weeks to round out May in the first part of this month, but northern parts of uh, Mercer County now starting to report some abnormally dry conditions once again. 12 hours of time lapse video from our weather camera in Nile showing us the uh, showers that moved through early this morning. Some abundant sunshine this afternoon that served to bubble up those uh, fair weather cumulus clouds this afternoon and evening and even a couple of thunderstorms that we saw. And as we uh, take a live look now in Niles outside our Bryanfield Healthcare Center's weather camera, pretty much the same picture. Some high thin cirrus clouds, a little bit of haze out there and some puffy cumulus clouds clouds with the temperature there. Niles checking in at 80 degrees and pretty much our entire five county viewing area sitting around 80 degrees. We've got upper 70s in uh, Bloomfield, Mespo, Newton Falls. We've got 81 in Berlin Center. It is 79 at this hour in East Palestine. Let's check out the, the setup on radar and satellite here and you notice off to our north and our west some much more comfortable, some drier air. These dew points moving uh, our direction that are in the 50s that will replace the dew points in the 70 degree range kind of on the uh, other side of this pseudo cold front here, this black uh, black dash line and an area of low pressure continuing to sag off to the south and southeast. And as it does, it will help to usher in that more comfortable and palatable air for us. So all the thunderstorms that we saw earlier this evening and afternoon have moved off to our southwest. The severe weather threat is over, so we're just going to be left with clearing skies for the rest of this evening and into the overnight hours tonight, and that should carry us right on through the early morning hours of our Monday. More comfortable tonight. You might be able to open the windows as that drier air moves in. 58 degrees should do it for the low. As far as our Monday is concerned, we'll get off to a pleasant enough start, but as we get into tomorrow afternoon and early tomorrow evening, another area of low pressure along with a weak cold front could trigger a couple of showers and maybe even a couple of storms before once again, cooler and drier air arrives on the other side. Temperatures tomorrow, not quite as warm as today. They should make a run into the mid to upper 70s. And as far as the longer range is concerned, a, a very small chance for a renegade or stray shower on our Tuesday. But by and large, everybody should stay dry and stay dry right on through Friday. We're talking about uh, Friday afternoon and evening being our next chance for any kind of precipitation. So enjoy this very nice, pleasant stretch that is setting up. These uh, mid 80s with the muggy dew points are going to be replaced by low to mid 70s. Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday will warm things back up next weekend with a chance of a shower or storm late Friday and early Saturday. And next Sunday should see a return of the sunshine with temperatures in the upper.